Hey you guys, how y'all doing? All right, I'm picking up on this energy. You guys have someone in your energy that's depressed or dealing with depression, like a full-blown depression or something like that over you. But they're trying to project this energy onto you. That's what I'm picking up on. Let's see why they're depressed. Show us this energy spirit. Friendship reversed. Loneliness. Okay, this could be a friend or some friends or somebody in a group, a third party. You're not connecting with them and they're lonely. They could be isolating themselves. Somebody could be disappointed in a friend or someone in, in a group. You may, yeah, you may not be friends with them no more, or you could be ending a friendship. This friend energy, they're trying to project their um, depression onto you. Spirits tell me they're also dealing with some kind of insecurities because they know you're moving on. They're trying to make you feel insecure too. This could be some narcissistic friends. This could be someone you used to be in the nightlife with. This nightlife was trying to come out. You could have been in the nightlife with them, going out with them at night, gambling, casino, drinking, bars, clubs, Vegas lifestyle, risky behavior. That possibly ended. Clarity. They don't want you to have clarity or on something. They could be trying to block your third eye. This came out sideways. This is clarity for someone. They don't want you to take action. Or maybe they don't want to take action. Action reversed. Action, courage, Jupiter beginnings. They may be trying to stop a change or some kind of growth in your life, stop you from doing something, stop your luck or fortune. This could be something about university, college, schooling, education. You're cold with them. Detachment, cold. You're cold. That's why they're depressed. So if you're feeling some weird energy, and you know that's not your energy, that's, that's possibly a friend or someone in a group. They're doing heavy magic over you, spirits telling me. This person is staying up all night, Spirit's telling me. They're not getting much sleep. They know they know you're moving on with your life, Spirit says. <clears throat> Merriment. They could see you focused on another connection. Possibly a love connection. These people are dancing. It looks like a couple on this card. Death. Yeah, you're done. Some You're done or something's changed. You, maybe you've changed. You've evolved. I feel like you're done with a friendship or some kind of connection. They're extremely emotional, Spirit says. Mm -hmm. 
they're overwhelmed someone of this energy is overwhelmed and new chapter yeah they're dealing with overwhelming emotions and stress the stress from this is draining me new chapter i am trying to move on they see you're trying to move on to a new chapter in your life This could be someone or a friend that you was gossiping with or something with gossip. They, This friend has been crying or something. Mistakes. Influences reversed. Attachment, third parties, peers. Maybe they cannot have an influence over some area in your life anymore, or you're not attached to them. Mistakes, misunderstood victim, lost soul. You could have made a mistake as far as whoever this is. Spirit's telling me you may need to give this person closure, some friend closure or something like that. Wow. They're angry. Someone's angry. Lightning. This hit death. Overwhelmed. Control your anger or you will be sorry. They're angry. A two-faced friend. You guys can not be talking. I'm sensing um, block throat chakra, communication blockages. This could be a friend that's two-faced. Yeah, spirit says they're emotional. Romance, party, celebration. They're very worried. Great worry and happiness. They're worried over your happiness. Maybe they see you're happy without them. Wow. Nine of Cups reversed. King of Cups. Two of Cups. You are looking at this friendship or whoever this is. I'm going to say a friend. That's what keeps coming out. Friend. Friend. Friendship. Reversed. You're looking at this friend different. They're very dissatisfied in, in life or, or some area in their life. There's no inner happiness for them. This could be a friend that um, could have a drinking problem or a drug problem or they're overindulging in some area in their life to deal with their unhappiness or some kind of pain. This could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Whoever this King of Cups is, is someone that's real happy. This could be you happy managing your emotions wisely you're emotionally balanced you're balancing your wants with the desire of others you could be someone that's sensitive you're you're in this emotionally mature energy you're dealing with these negative energies that are being projected off onto you you're dealing with them in a, in a, a mature way Maybe you're intuitive. You could be someone that's intuitive, psychic. I feel like you're feeling their energy. You're feeling their energy, or maybe you're you can feel or sense their emotions or depression. You know that's not your energy either way. Two of Cups. There's a strong magnetic attraction or connection between two people that mutually respect each other 
and mutually trust each other, a strong partnership. You could have a perfect match with someone or you could be coupled up with someone. This could be about a marriage, a proposal, this mutual attraction with someone. They're depressed over your connection with someone, your relationship. Yeah, that's why this is out then. They're angry over you and someone else. They could have, <clears throat> what I'm hearing is they thought you guys were going to get over each other. Nine of Pentacles reversed. They could be codependent on you or some kind of dependency. They're in fear. They're dealing with insecurity. This person could be obsessed with you or obsessed with you in a, um, a lover or a friend. They could have been trying to deceive you with something. This could also be a friend that's trying to steal you from someone. They may be dealing with money problems or money issues. Lovers, two of pentacles reverse, ace of cups reverse. They are definitely sad. The tables are turning with something. Maybe, maybe this friend had control over something with a soulmate connection. This could be about a decision. This could be a Gemini. They feel like you're choosing a soulmate. They feel like you're putting a lot of time or love into someone else. There's harmony with you and someone else. You could be in a union with someone else or getting ready to be. They know you have passion for that person. They're jealous, basically. It looks like, yeah, they're overwhelmed. Two of Pentacles reversed, overwhelmed, feeling off balanced. Something's changed. Like the tables have turned. Ace of Cups reversed. They're trying to hide. They're trying to repress their emotions. Their, their, their sad emotions. This friend doesn't want you to know they're depressed. It's, it's just easier to project it off onto you, I guess. Three of Swords. Ace of Wands reversed. This friend is feeling unmotivated, uninspired, apathy, bored, lack of motivation. They don't want to do much. They have, they're lacking energy, lacking passion, feeling weighed down. They could have wanted two people to lose interest in each other. They're heartbroken, suffering, grieving, emotional pain, sorrow, hurt, depression, betrayal, disloyalty. They're upset. They could be confused. Over this King of Cups is, I feel like, could be in love. Ten of Swords reverse. It just can't get any worse for them. They could be having a mental breakdown. They could be seeing you and someone else is recovering from something. Possibly recovering from a betrayal or some ending. You guys learned your lessons and your healing. I feel like they had a hidden motive and it backfired onto this friendship. Cause you discovered something or learned about something. They trying to make sure you're not in this courage energy. They could be trying to stop a beginning in your life or some new chapter. Five of Pentacles reverse. They see some recovery. Karmic lessons, forgiveness, positive change. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> this could be a earth sign. <clears throat> Excuse me. You and someone else could be coming out of the cold with each other or overcoming something. You guys could be recovering from loss. There's some kind of positive improvement for you and someone else in the lover's energy. The sun, yeah. Tables have turned, but they can't handle like your happiness, your positivity, your pleasure, fun, joy. 
this could be a, a rebirth they see all is well for you you guys could be celebrating yeah there's a lot of joy in this energy this could be something about abundance headed in your direction they can't stand and can't take that you're in this happy energy and confident Show us more this energy, someone, a friend, depressed, or some friends possibly. Courthouse, something with courthouse. Some of you guys, what I'm getting from that, they're trying to stop something from balancing out for you. Main female, something about a main female. Gift, something about a gift. You could be getting a gift, something with regards to court, maybe a settlement, a, a lump sum of money, a payout, or winning a case or something. I just feel like this is like um, the justice energy, like the justice card. That's what I'm sensing. That could literally be other stuff going on in a courthouse for some of y'all. Let's see this energy control your anger or you will be sorry. What are they angry about? <clears throat> room reversed. Something about a room? It's like you're distant or something. You could be, they could be angry because you're distant, secluded yourself from them. Enemy, conversation reversed. You guys are not talking or something. You and this person ain't talking. They're angry because you're not talking to them or you won't speak to them. They're in this desperate energy like, talk to me, talk to me. This person says they feel like they're obsessing over you. Yeah, they know they're obsessed with you. They they maybe don't they don't know how to control it maybe. They're obsessed. Game day, sports, championships, etc. This had to happen so you could elevate. This, this, whatever this is going on with a friend or something, this had to backfire so something better could come through for you. Some, this had to happen. This had to backfire the way that it's backfiring. Karmic is playing in your energy to try to confuse you. This friend's trying to play in your energy, trying to confuse you. I just needed a time out. Acting reckless and out of control. Yeah, this friend is going through it. And they're trying to figure out how they got caught. This could be an athlete, top of the deck athlete. This could be an athlete or someone that's into sports. Split the deck, ace of swords. Yeah, you found out something. You could have found out some truth. Show us them playing in their energy. Magician, Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands. Yeah, that's clarity. They're playing in your energy. They're doing, this friend is doing magic over you. This is just clarity of what you're possibly already feeling or sensing. They see you moving forward or they see things picking up for you. Good things coming into your life. Good news. You could be suddenly just moving forward with something.
Oh, they're, this friend is doing magic to try to get you to communicate with them. You're done now. Five of Cups. See, this is their energy. They're depressed, doing magic. So you talk to them. The world's, yeah. The moon reversed. The cycle's done. You found out, you already found out about some hidden deception with this friend. 